Hey guys, I am Bianca and welcome to another craft break here at Plaid. As always, we get together on Wednesdays and we do fun Mod Podge projects together. Today is just like any other day, we will be doing another Mod Podge project. But today we will be making something for St. Patrick's Day. And the project will be these really pretty gold painted rocks that we have turned into golden nuggets that you can use as decorative items throughout your home to make it festive for St. Patrick's Day. So I will tell you what supplies you will need to create this project at home and we will get started making it. So the first thing you're going to need of course is a rock. I have three in front of me. You can go out in your backyard and grab these. Um, if you don't have smooth rocks at home, you can of course go to your local hardware store or even a dollar store and pick up some rocks. I would suggest trying to get some smooth ones that are kind of flat so that they look more like nuggets, but you know, just try to get as close, as close as you can. Any, so, rock, any rock will work. Yeah, any, any rock will work. Um, the only reason I say a little bit smoother is because we're going to be applying some decorative napkins to them. But yes. we'll talk about that a little more in just a second. So you're going to need some rocks. You're also going to use my Podge. Today we will be using the matte formula. We will also be using some Mod Podge Mega Glitter. I have our silver and our gold colors for this project. I'll talk about that in just a little bit as well. This is sort of the perfect formula of Mod Podge to have for this project. You know, yes. It's like exactly <laughs> what we're trying to do with it. I agree. And in combination with the Mod Podge, we're going to throw in a little bit of our treasure gold paint. So today we have the Mayan gold and we also have the majestic gold, but we do have other gold colors. These are just the ones that I picked out for this project. So. In addition to those things, you are also going to need a decorative napkin. I have one that is festive for St. Patrick's. You're going to need some scissors and you're also going to need some paint brushes. So that is what you will need to create this project. We will go ahead and we will get started. So I'm going to grab my first rock and we are going to paint it using the majestic gold color that's our um darker gold of the two that you have out today right yep so that is our darker gold and we're going to paint the other one with our mayan gold which is the lighter gold color and like bianca said our treasure gold line has a ton of different metallic paints in it uh there's i want to say like three or four that you could use as a gold um, yep. but we also have some that are bluer some greens uh some purple uh colors so Definitely check out uh, the link for the uh, Treasure Gold line. Yep. So we are just base coating this. This is really quick, really easy. This whole project is super easy and super <coughs> quick. Super, super easy. It and should take you less than 10 minutes, maybe a max of 20 minutes. And you could almost just do that and be done with it. Like, boom. You really could. There's a, there's, a, there's a gold nugget right there. That's how good treasure gold is. You, you honestly could just be done with it, honestly. But we're going to go above and beyond. <laughs> we're going to go above and beyond. Okay, so that is the majestic gold. I'm going to show you guys what the Mayan gold color, color looks like. So let's bring that over. All right. So we're gonna base coat this rock as well. This paint has pretty good coverage with just one coat. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of my favorite things about this product. So let's flip the rock over. Let's add some to the back. And then we will paint our third rock. All right. All right, so we'll set this one off to the side. We'll paint the third one with the majestic gold. So we'll go back in with our darker gold color. And then you wanna let these dry and then you wanna go back over them with your decorative napkin. So we're gonna cut out some of the 
pets and some of the pots that you see on the napkins here to the left of me. And we're also gonna cut out some of the clovers. And we're gonna use the Mod Podge to put them on the tops of our rocks. These uh, rocks would be great decoration for a St. Patrick's Day party, obviously. Uh, you can yeah. see like the vignette that Bianca has in front of her. Yeah. We've got a couple of them stacked on some candlesticks. Yeah. Um, this would be a great like centerpiece, like for a coffee table or something. Yep. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah. And we even have a really, really cute tiered tray behind me. Maybe towards the end, I can pull that out just so you guys can get a little bit more as far as decorating for your home goes. Yeah, we've got, um, we've been posting a lot of St. Patrick's Day projects um, gearing up for the holiday, yeah. uh, which is on the 17th. So two days from, or three days, yeah, two days yeah, from now. it's actually on Friday. It is on Friday. Yeah. So this is a great last minute addition to your St. Patrick's Day party decor. Yeah. Um, Susan from our YouTube stream says that uh, she loves the gold and the napkins are fabulous. Thank Thank you, Susan. Thank you very much. Where did, do you know where we got these napkins from? I believe these napkins are from Home Goods. Okay. If I am not mistaken, um, Home Goods is a really great place to pick up decorative napkins like this, but also the dollar store too. Yeah. This time of year, like especially just before the holiday comes up, you should be able to find them anywhere that sells like fun party napkins, you know? Yep. All right, so the next step for this project is to grab your decorative napkin and you are going to back of it. Most napkins just have one ply, but you might find that sometimes they have two. Let's see, I think this one has two. So we're gonna tear it off slowly. And anytime you're using my Podge to apply a napkin to anything, you always wanna remove the backing to reduce wrinkles and air bubbles because you want this part of the napkin to directly lay down onto your project or your surface, not the backing that comes attached to it. Yeah, flip the uh, the part that you just tore off over so we can see just how thin that is. You know, you yep. can see the design right on the other side. Yeah. All right, so once you remove the backing from your napkin, you are going to cut out pieces of it that you would like to apply to your rock. So I'm gonna grab some scissors and we will cut out a hat. You of course want to make sure that you are cutting out an element that fits the size of your rock. So you don't wanna pick out something that is too, too big. So let's see, will this fit on one of our rocks? Yep, I think that should fit on one of those three. So I'm just gonna go around, trim it up. And then I already have some of our clovers cut out. We might cut out one or two more together. All right. We always love to hear where you guys are watching from. I think Susan said she's from Ireland, so. Re really, Susan? <laughs> Really? You That's tuned in right at the right time. I, that would be really cool. Well, I would love to know how the weather is in Ireland right now. That would be a new place. I don't think I've heard anyone say that they've watched from Ireland. I've heard Poland. I think I've heard Iceland. If I'm yeah, not mistaken. Yeah, I think I remember Iceland. Yeah. Okay. So we cut out a hat. I have some clovers here. I think I also want to cut out, let's see, one of our pots. All righty. I'd also like to hear what you guys plan on doing for St. Patrick's Day. What do you usually do for St. Patrick's Day, Stephen? Uh, I usually go out with a group of friends. Go out with a uh, I often forget about St. Patrick's Day, but it's been on my radar this year. Um, be, I mean, part of it is because I'm working here and we're doing tons of St. Patrick's Day themed uh, yeah. crafts and stuff. Um, Susan says it's very cold weather and rain. 
I bet you guys have a big celebration in Ireland. Yeah. I would love to be there for that. I mean, obviously the biggest uh, St. Patrick's Day town that we have in the States is Savannah. Chicago. Oh, oh really? Savannah. Chicago? I was good. Well, yeah, because yeah. they dye the river green and stuff. I and did not know that. Yeah. It's big over there. Really? Mm-hmm. Even when it's cold? Wow. It's always cold in Chicago. It's so. always cold in Chicago. Wow, I never knew that. I have to, like, find some videos and some pictures of that. Does Savannah do? Yeah, so Savannah has a big celebration every year, and everyone, well, a lot of people in Atlanta always drive down there for the day. They have a big party on um, the boardwalk near the ocean. I've never been, but I do want to go. Yeah, Susan says that she is indeed from Dublin. Wow, that is really cool. Well, you tuned in to the perfect craft break today. <laughs> All right, so we have cut out some pieces from our napkins. I am going to grab one of our rocks, and we are going to add some of our Mod Podge Mega Glitter. So let's pull these towards us. So I am going to start with the gold Mega Glitter. We're also going to use the silver as well. So I should pull all three. So let's grab a paintbrush and let's add some. So we'll put it on top of this one. So this formula is a little bit thicker than our matte formula, but that is because it is loaded with glitter. And so you want to add one coat, you can let it dry, and then you can go back and add other coats as needed. If you want it to be super, super glittery, I would definitely suggest adding about three to four coats. So it starts off looking a little bit white, but as always, my podge does dry clear. So you give that about five to 10 minutes. It should be pretty dry. So we're gonna set that one off to the side and let it dry. And we are going to add some of our cut out napkin pieces on top of our other painted rocks. So let's grab some Mod Podge, our matte, some of our matte formula. And we We'll use it to add our napkins on top. All right, so let's just pour a little bit of that out. And we will grab one more paintbrush. All right, so I think I want to add the hat onto that one. And then we'll add the clovers onto this one over here. So I'm gonna start by adding a thin layer of Mod Podge on top of my rock. And like I mentioned earlier, um, you can definitely use any type of rock that you would like to for this project. But if you are planning on adding napkins or napkin pieces to your rocks, you do wanna to try to get a rock that has a smooth top or side to it. But if you're just wanting to create fake gold nuggets, you can use any type of rock. Doesn't matter what shape, what shape it is. So we are going to lightly tap, tap our finger around the cutout napkin piece to apply it onto the rock. And then I am going to go back over it with another layer of Mod Podge to make sure your napkin piece is as flat as possible. Get all of the wrinkles out. And then you go back over it with another layer of Mod Podge to seal it and make sure that it stays down. Uh, Susan asked where we are from. <clears throat> we are based out of um, Atlanta, Georgia. 
uh, southeast United States. It uh, starts off very cold here in the mornings. It gets uh, way hotter during the day. Right. And then as soon as the sun goes down, it is back to being cold. It was like 30 degrees today, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know how cold that is Celsius, but right. that's that's uh, below freezing uh, for us it here. It is. So. Very much so it is. And it was just 80 degrees two weeks ago. I'm telling you, it was <laughs> wild out here. Um, so like Bianca said, uh, Mod Podge does uh, apply with the sort of milky white color, but it will dry clear. Uh, that's pretty consistent with all of our formulas. It will you know, start out white and dry clear. Um, the uh, glitter formula, like you mentioned, Bianca, is a little thicker because it holds all of those glitter particles. Yeah. Um, we had a question about how long does it take to dry, but I think you kind of answered it earlier. Um, you said it, give it about five minutes, and then you can apply another coat. Yeah. You could also speed that process up with a hair dryer if you're uh, impatient crafters like us, but just yep. for the sake of demonstration, we're just going to let it kind of air dry. Yeah. Yep, I actually have some that are already done and I'm going to pull them out in just a second for us so that you can see what the final project looks like once it is totally dry. And I like that you're just sort of gently tapping yep. the uh, napkin cut out into place. Yep, that so, way. yep, you just want to gently tap your finger. And we're going to add one more clover onto this one. So let's add a little bit more Mod Podge. And then we're gonna add one last coat of our Mega Glitter onto the first rock that we painted with the gold Mega Glitter. So we're gonna add a little bit of our silver to that. And that will be our blank gold nugget. All right, so let's just add a little bit a little bit of Mod Podge on top of these napkin pieces to make sure that they hold and stay in place and give it a protectant covering. All right. And that is how you do this project, guys. So you wanna sit these off somewhere, let them dry, maybe, I'll, maybe about 10 to 20 minutes. And like Steven said, you can use a hair dryer if you would like to, to kind of speed up the process. But even on its own, it still dries pretty quickly. So we're going to use some of our silver mega glitter. And so this has more of an iridescent color. It has small purple flakes, silver, and tiny pieces of gold in it. So I'm gonna go back over the other coat of Mod Podge that we applied earlier. We want this to be really glittery. You want to be able to see it from across the room. You wanna actually have it looking like a gold nugget. So I'm just adding a whole bunch onto the rock. All right. You can really see that. Um that white milkiness we were talking about yep. before, but don't worry, completely. Yep. Well, go ahead and show a finished sample yep. so we can sort of see that before and yep. after right next to each other. So let's grab one that has the gold and the silver. Nice. So once it dries, it should look something like this. And like I said earlier, you wanna apply as many coats as you would like. So the more glitter you want on your rock, the of course, the more coats that you want to apply. So. I probably added about five different coats of the Mega Glitter onto this piece. I'll pull out some of the other finished rocks so that you guys can see what they look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set these over here. Let's pull out some of our finished ones. So this is the one that I just showed you guys. It looks great. This is the actual treasure gold color. Oh, the original gold? Yeah, this is the original gold color. <clears throat> This is the Mayan gold. Ooh. So we have the hat on this one. You know, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking, that's not a rock, that's a gold nugget. It looks like a gold nugget. <laughs> it does look like a gold nugget. And so on these, we only have the silver mega glitter. So I'll hold that up so that you guys can see that. So this is the gold and this is the Mayan gold. And then here are just a few more pieces that have the clovers on them. Again, this is the Mayan gold color. 
we added some of the clovers all over and once you put all of them together they truly do just look like gold nuggets and maybe you could even find like a witch's cauldron somewhere on clearance from halloween you can throw all of them in there and it will look like a leprechaun's pot but before we get out of here, I did want to show you the tier tray that we created that has some of our favorite St. Patrick's Day projects on them. And then I'm going to set the rocks on the, on the tray just so you can see how you can style something like this. Uh, yeah, Susan says that she uses napkins um, to put on tiles, buckets, candles, oh, and canvas. Tiles. Uh, so we, yeah, ca uh, napkins are a uh, essential crafting tool. I agree. I put napkins on a lot of things. <laughs> All right. So this is our St. Patrick's Day tiered tray. This is probably not the last time that you will see this on a craft break, but I just wanted to show you a quick way that you can style a tiered tray in your house using your golden nuggets. So I'm just gonna place them throughout the tray here. just to give you guys some inspiration and some ideas. And if you guys have any questions about this project before we get out of here, we definitely do not mind answering them. Yeah, so like we mentioned earlier, all of the uh, projects you see uh, on the tier tray are things that we've been putting on our social media. So our Instagram yep. and our TikTok uh, feeds have uh, videos about each thing on here. So we've got coasters, little shamrocks on them we've got this framed 17 uh, with our treasure gold and i think that's just craft paper that may not be napkin yep uh 17 for the 17th of march yep. uh we've got um this little canvas which yep. uses like this textured i think that might be a this napkin. for sure is a napkin yeah that's definitely a napkin. Yep. yeah a little texture to it yep. um so we've had uh, a lot of fun making these saint yeah. patrick's day crafts for you and you can find out how to make them for yourself yeah. on our social media well, I think that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this St. Pat St. Patrick's Day project. We will be back next week with another fun Mod Podge project. As always, if you try to create this project at home on your own, use hashtag plaidcraft so that we can thumbs up it and so that we can see what you created. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.